kick. This is awesome. It is very smooth. There's no It's kick. like a cap gun. I don't think it's we like need these. <laughs> Hey people, Gotti Edelman here with another out of the box review. And today we're going to be looking at the Fiacci Falcon 3.9 by 40 rifle scope. Now, what this is going to be for the most part is just a quick out of the box to see what kind of quality this has. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for the mounts to arrive so I can put this on my AR and really put it through its paces. But I know a lot of you, the first thing you're going to say is, well, Gotti, you know, that thing's made in China. I agree 100%, and that's the reason I wanted to really take a look at this thing. Currently, I don't even own a scope, a rifle scope. I've got a red dot sight that I use on my AR that I've got Wally popped with the iron sights. I've got 100 yards out at my range, and at 100 yards, I can actually use the iron sights, and I never really needed a scope. So, like I said, let's open this up and take a look at what it has, because it talks about the fact that it has a long eye relief, a fast focus eyepiece. It's supposed to be waterproof. It's supposed to be military aircraft aluminum. So I really wanted to check out the quality of this. These are available uh, on Amazon for only $69.99. And if it can do half of what it says, I would say it's well worth the money if you're working on a budget and you just want a scope for target practice. But who knows? This may be good enough for other things. Like I said, we won't know until we really get it mounted onto the rifle and we put it through its paces. So let's take a look at what we got here. By its weight, it does feel like it is aluminum, so there's no doubt about that. Get this out of the way and see what we're dealing with. Okay. It's anodized. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got a good weight. This is about 12 inches in length, and it's supposed to be good out to 100 yards. I like the, uh, I do like the spring-loaded lens covers, and from the looks of it, yeah, these actually come off, so you can remove them all the way, or you can leave them on there and just pop them up. Not bad. So you got that on both sides. Now, the elevation and windage, okay, again, says it's waterproof, so each one actually has an individual cap that you can remove. Let's check out how this is as far as the actual mechanism inside this. That's got a good feel to it. It's got a good click. You can hear it. It stops on each one. You can feel it. All right, not bad as far as that is concerned. Let's take a look. Now, I know you're not going to be able to see this through the camera. And being that I'm in the house, it's not going to be all that great. But at the longest length I can get here, that is not bad. I do like the crosshairs. I don't know if I can get that in the camera or not, and I highly doubt it. Well, there you go. This is not bad at all. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get this on there. I'm waiting for the one-inch mounts to arrive. They should be here probably in a couple of days. Again, $69.99. I'm pretty impressed by the way it feels, the way it looks, and all the different things that are on it. It's not rough in any way. It's not grabbing. This, this is not bad for 70 bucks. But again, we will see once it's mounted to the rifle itself, my main concern is how it holds especially if I'm putting 5.56 five, through it. I want to know how it's going to hold up. Is it going to move or is it going to stay dead center? So next review will be getting this out on the, the scope on the rifle out at the range. And we'll probably do 50, 75, and then 100 yards out just to see how it holds. So until then, kind of do this a little bit backwards. I got your six. We'll see you at the range.